Hello everyone, Excedra here bringing you episode 37 of Modern Skyblock 3 Departed, a mod pack by Emoziwa Gamer. So in the last episode, we got through Psy, and I'm glad that's done. We're going to complete one quest today of Psy, and that's going to be to get rid of every little detail, like the last one quest with all of the armors. In my time lapse, I worked on this whole setup some more, and I got these uh, empowered seed semi-automated. And I say semi-automated because these will fill out, and then things are going to start throwing on the floor. I, with these pipes, there's no real way of automating stuff. I thought that with this round robin diamond transport pipe, that it would only show like send one to each at a time, but no, it has to fill that back one fully first and then the other ones. And that's whatever happens once in a while, I get a stupid cobblestone in there and I have to wait for it to fill. And now everything jams. Because what I probably should have done is something like that and just like make sure that they were all seeds. The problem is if I did that, this one would have needed five stacks of canola seed before it started working. So I got that done, and then I started trying to automate this, and I suck on the redstone side. And the problem with my setup right now is that it doesn't work when things stop. So now that everything stopped, because this is full, oh, this isn't even full. And this one's full, but this one's not full. So sometimes it stops, and you have to like restart everything, which I don't really like, but I still haven't figured out the proper way of automating it. So today we're getting started into immersive engineering. So the one quick, I heard a mob. Where are you? So my mob farm's still not restarted, by the way. I have no idea what's going wrong. Uh, check that, my mob farm is restarted. <sighs> I have no clue what's going on here. It wasn't working, and now it's working, and then it's not working, and you know what? It's working again-ish, but it's not going into the range collector. Eh, I'm going to have to work on that, but at least it's restarted, and I honestly have no clue why it restarted, and I don't have any clue why it's not going into the range collector. But I'm just going to go with the at least it restarted itself. So I have no clue what's going on there. So let's just go and finish Psy. In the last episode, I basically made all of the Psy gem and Psy metal ingot and everything that I needed. Uh, which one's the right rod? This one, I guess. So let's grab all of this and this. And let's go and make all of the Psy armor. Oh, and in my other playthrough, I changed the video setting to, yeah, to a smaller... Uh, scale because I wanted to see more stuff when doing research. So now let's put it back. So at Psy and let's get started with some armor. So first we want to make a Psy metal shovel. So that's one. Then we want to make a Psy metal pickaxe. So that's one. Then we need an axe. Oof. I got scared there for a second that I wasted material. And then a sword. Perfect. And then a focus focusing plate helmet. One. And then what's the next one? A focusing plate chest mail. Chest plate, sorry. Then a focusing plate legging. And finally, a focusing plate boot. And that's perfect which should bring us to a completed Psy quest. So we're now completely done with Psy and, oh, I know what happened. It's my reinstall. I had to reinstall everything. My computer like was really buggy and probably something was broken with the install that broke my mod, uh, my mob farm. So let me just find again, what was the quest? Open quest. I'm gonna put it back on my add button, done. Ah, perfect. So that's much better. So definitely, if you have a weird problem in your mod, I would say reinstall everything because that's definitely seemed to have solved everything for me. So I'm going to claim this quest and we're going to be completely done with Psy. 
let's go and get rid of all of this right now. I want nothing more to do with Psy for the time being. And this quest I'm going to put in the quest overflow setup right here. And whatever can I get rid of here, I'm going to get rid of right here and right here. Perfect. Second thing is, you know what? I don't want to wait, waste too much time, but I'm pretty sure I can do the refined chaos. So let's grab these 14 chaos and these 60. Yeah, okay. I should definitely be okay to do that. So I'm going to need 16 of these and four of these. Yeah, I should be good now. And I'm going to go refined, refined chaos orb. Oh, chaos, I need to know how to spell. Which needs a fragile, I need a diamond. So let's go grab a diamond. And by the way, there's a new version. In case you didn't notice, there's a little uh, difference in the crafting screen. So let's grab that, ref uh, that fragile, and then we're going to need four of these, and that's going to be the refined chaos orb, which means that we can now accrue chaos on us. Because did you see how the beam went toward us? That's trying to put chaos into us. So that's another quest done. Let's claim that. And the there's two left. This one with endstone that honestly I'm not going to be able to do anytime soon. And the Glowing Rose, and the Glowing Rose is all a question of luck. So I'm going to say Glow Rose Fertilizer right here. And let's go grab a couple of bone. Uh, 16 should be enough for a start. And that's way too much, but I just want to make sure I'm going to get all of the flower. So that's 24. Four. I'm not even sure 24 is going to be enough. So that gave me the glowstone fertilizer, but now we need one of each. So what I'm going to do is I'm quickly going to come back here and go. And I'm just going to. Oh, sometimes it gives more than one. Okay. I thought it was one at a time. And that, that's 24 of them. And how many am I missing? I'm missing an Ember, so that's one. And I'm missing a Peridot and an Aquamarine, so I'm missing three. So let's go try that again. Going to grab eight more bones. Mm, oh, 44. And let's grab another 16 bone. It's not like I need that much more to do with uh, Sky Magic for now. Well, Sky Magic. Oh. Wow, I uh, mean silent gem. I want to get the flight gem, but I'm not ready to do that now. So there's no rush. Let's just try and complete as many quests as possible. I'm just right clicking, left clicking, where right clicking is placing down the glow something and left clicking is breaking the flower. So that it goes as fast as possible because this is a boring part. And oh, am I missing still one? The Peridot. Wow. So 24 more and I'm still missing one. So let's grab another 16 bone. And hopefully this is going to be the last time we do this. So 16 bone. Transform into bone meal. And into glow rolls fertilizer. Oh. No, 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 no. I saw something I'm not happy with. Uh... -huh. Please tell me I'm mistaken. Huh. I don't see it. So what I'm talking about is when you mouse over some of these item somewhere. I thought I saw the... Uh, there's one magical mod that's in everything that I kind of don't like. Which is all about research and stuff like that. And... I thought maybe that got put in here and I hope it didn't because that's a mod that I really dislike. And I'll be fair. Why do I really dislike it? Because it's been put in so many things and every time I feel I need to restart the same thing. So let's go get rid of these roses like so. I'm going to get rid of the orb. I'm going to get rid of the refined chaos. And here I'm going to get rid of this and 
What is this digital guide? Environmental tech. So probably the update gave me that because I haven't started environmental tech yet. So let's open item placeholder. Okay. And for void transport pipe. Let's show that there. And by the name, sheep status pink. Uh, I don't know where I put it, but I think it's one of those things that I already have. Let's just go back here, quest book, and wow, this version seems pretty broken. Maybe no. Great, now it's completely broken. So let's not look at that. Probably need a reset. What's better storage? Ender bucket and diamond colossal chest. So the ender bucket, I don't even remember making but it's glowing this bright blue. So that was probably added, which is kind of cool because it was there at the beginning and then it got removed. But the ender bucket is basically the answer to being able to always get uh, buckets from this. So let's say I wanted lava somewhere, any place, I could make a orange ender bucket. So let's just look, since it's a quest that I have to do, it's four blaze powder, four iron ingot, Four blaze powder, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, four iron ingot, one ender pearl, and let's just see what red wool. You know what? Let's do the one with the red wool because that means it's going to give me the oil I need. So that's one ender bucket. And so many quests keep popping up. Hello, quest updated database. This version doesn't seem to be very good and it's not detecting my ender bucket. Why is it not detecting this? Okay, so it's detected and you see the ender bucket. Whatever, it work, let's move on. But basically, now that we have this code EEEE, -E -E -E, which should be this one right here, it should be able to pick up and put down canola oil. I just don't want to do it now because if it, it works, I don't want to put canola oil in the world for no reason. Wow, this is getting annoying. I wanted to get rid of this diamond and obsidian. Yeah, this is annoying. Quest. But the reason I can't is I'm still missing diamond. I need 108 diamond and my stone. How much stone do I have? I tried in the whole time lapse to transform it and I still don't have enough. So I ended up making this setup where I'm producing oil back there. So basically I'm transforming oil as a level one canola into canola oil in this. And then I'm making canola oil into fermented canola oil in that, which goes into my yellow ender tank. And my yellow ender tank comes here and to this, my refined canola oil gets pushed into this. And once it's detected, there's a, a redstone signal sent that shows this over here and makes a crystallized canola seed drop in here. Oh, and that's a mob. Let me just get rid of this mob first. And these quests, this is really annoying. It feels like it's redetecting every quest I've ever done. So sorry about how annoying this is. But technically, I just need to duplicate the setup twice because then it puts a crystallized canola seed and it gets put into this ender tank, which is now supposed to go into a second setup to make empowered canola oil that I would use. But for now, I'm just using the level one oil because I need it. And I'm bringing it here into an oil generator and a second one here. This one's used to transform um, cobblestone into sand, which I'm going to collect right now. So that's basically for my glasses, glass and stuff like that. And this one is basically cooking cobblestone into stone because I found that the other setup was just not fast enough. And I'm frozen. This is not the best of videos. Sometimes I feel like I have to pre-record or fake record an episode after an update. And this feels like one of those times, but sorry for the freeze. But technically, so getting back to what I was saying, 
I just felt that I needed to get more stone faster because I still don't have all of my diamond, which means that I still can't complete the quest that I want. Oh man, this quest is getting annoying. This quest completed crap. It's just non-stop. It really feels like it's redetecting everything. But that being said, in the next time lapse, in this episode's time lapse, I'm going to get the diamond to be able to finish better storage. But now I want to get started into every machinery which has placeholder. Oh, this is so sad because these were good. These were images. I don't know what's happening. I'm going to have to skip that part until it's fixed. And I'm going to have to post on the Discord to see what's going on. But immersive engineering. First quest. Engineer's arsenal. To be able to construct all the multi-blocks, i.e. machine, you're going to need an engineer's hammer and engineer's wire cutter. So engineer hammer is two iron, a string, and two sticks. So two iron, two stick, and a string somewhere. Where is the string? Right here. Perfect. So let's make that right now. And engineer's wire cutter. So I already, oh, I already have everything I need. I guess I grabbed too many of the other items. Whoa. Nope, I, I don't need that many sticks. So that's one quest completed. Let's grab that. Basically, the reason we need that is the hammer is going to make us do plate and the wire cutters are going to, guess what? Let us make wires. Next step. So now we've unlocked two more quests, coke. For making coke coal and creosote oil, you are going to need a coke oven. So we need 27 coke brick. So let's search coke brick. Uh, coke brick is made out of clay, brick, and sandstone. So we have enough sand, that shouldn't be a problem. How many do we need? We need 27. If we need 27 and these make three at a time, uh, that's 9, 8, 9, 18, 27. So that's nine craft of that. So I'm going to need nine clay block. I'm going to need 18 clay block. So 18 clay block. Do I have any clay in here? How many do I have? Not enough. So 18 clay block is basically 18 dirt with the water gun. No dirt in here is, yeah. So Let's grab, you know what, let's grab 32. And let's grab the water gun, and let's put that down. I heard another mob. I don't know where it is, but I've heard another mob. Do I have a wand? Yes, I have, oh, no, that's a grinder. Let's get rid of this grinder and use a wand. And let's continue that down. Oh, by the way, here, oh no. See, now you see it. The, the little diamond icon and the little and icon, I never remember the name of that mod, but that's the one mod I don't want to have to play through again. It feels like I've played it so many times. So let's finish transforming all of that. Perfect. Now let's break all of that. And my grave key is also disabled. There's so many things to set at the beginning. So excavate is going to, oh, excavate, it's grave. Okay, so done. Okay, so it was my problem. It's that I was using the wrong keybind. Perfect, so that's six, I don't need 16 clay block. What am I doing? I need 64 bricks, so what I'm going to do I just want to accelerate this. Oh, wow. Isn't this perfect? So I'm going to go 16, 16. And this one, I'm going to go 16. And 16. Perfect. So these should cook super fast. And I should be able to make this. I'm going to need sandstone. I'm going to need nine. Nine craft of sandstone so let's grab some sandstone sand 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 whoop no sandstone is a four by four wow i'm on nine that's perfect that's exactly what i wanted 
So let's grab these nine. Now we're just waiting for this to cook, which is going fast. I love this new cooking setup. I feel that's going to be my whole solution to not having enough stone. See, 29 while I did four stack for the same time. Okay, this cooking setup, I'm really happy I made. It's going to save me a lot of time. So 64 in here and 64 in here and 64 in here and 64. What's going on? Oh, it was just like a weird lag issue. But now with all of these 64 bit, I can do this and go nine times, 27, perfect. And I still have some brick left. That feels like it's not okay, but let's move on. So we, oh, that's not over. Oh, now we need cold coke. So the reason it made us do that, and now my problem is I don't have an island. But it doesn't matter that I don't have an island because I just want to get it done. So let's set up right here, and I'm going to move it in my time lapse. So you make a 3x3 three three base, and then you make a second level, leaving one a hole in the middle. And then when I put the last one, we need we get this, which is totally what not what we want. But if you go and shift right click, uh, hello. Do I need to put something in the center? I thought the center needed to be empty. Maybe I'm mistaken. Shift right click. Oh yeah, okay. So no empty in this one. That was totally my bad. So we now have a Coke oven. And a Coke oven uh, is used to cook what? Can I see the recipe? Nope. If I go this way, let's just search for Coke and get this cold Coke. New. No. Uh, just one second. Let's go back here. I hate that this is all over one another. I'm trying to search. So I did claim this. So there's no reason. There's nothing missing. So coal coke. It's this one, but it's not showing. Oh, yeah. Okay. The coke oven recipe. So it's coal into that oven. So I can't really use charcoal. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my combustion setup to transform some charcoal into coal. I'm going to grab 64 and you're going to see that this is a very slow process. Uh, 50, 64. Sixty-four. Perfect. So the way the coke oven works is you just put some coal into it and then you just wait. And it's going to make two things. It's going to make coke Coke coal or coal coke this and it's also going to make something called creosote oil. Creosote oil is something that's used to transform treat the wood and give a special kind of wood in this mod pack. So I need to wait for my first one because this quest heavy machinery until I get my first one this is not going to complete. While we're waiting for that let's uh, let's look about Constantin. One of the alloy, i.e., i.e., by the way, is immersive engineering, adds is constantin. You can easily make it into an alloy kiln. So we need a kiln brick. Kiln brick. So kiln brick is sandstone and brick, and we have enough bricks. So we should be able to make this. We're just out of sandstone, but again, this should be easy to make. Let's just make seven. And let's look into that. So two, four, six. That's not enough sandstone. So I'm going to need a second sandstone. That should be enough. And eight. Perfect. And I do not know how to set the kiln brick oven. So there is an easy solution for that. Let's search at immersive or no, sorry. 
Let's do it the... Oh, I don't want to go the cheaty way. Why, why would I even say I want to go the cheaty way? There's a book. Engineer's Manual. It's a lever and a book. So let's see. Do I have a book right here? Nope. Do I have a lever? Yes, I do. So let's grab a lever. And let's figure out again what the book is. A book is three fabric and a leather. So let's make another book. One, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. And a leather. Leather. Oh, God. That's a complicated word for a Frenchy guy. So quickly, let's make three paper and a leather. That makes a book. And a lever. I could have used my... Akashic tone, but I just wanted to get that done quickly. So, tools, simple machines, external item, fluid router, turntable, fluid transport, garden cloche. So, not in here, so it's probably in the heavy machinery. Proof blast furnace, squeezer, make. Nope. Okay, so not in here. Tools, maybe? Nope, not in the tool. Construction, sheet of wood, metal construction, engineers. Okay, I'm still searching for alloy kiln. Okay, I guess that's it. The alloy kiln is a simple furnace made out of heat-resistant sandstone and bricks. Within it, temperature are high enough to allow metals to melt into a fluid state and mix creating an alloy. This allows the creation of important alloys like electrum and constantin without requiring the tedious mixing of dust. The former kiln arranged eight... Wow, that was so complicated. I understand why I never could figure it out by myself. So, just like that, and shift right click, and this is a kiln oven. That was way simpler than I thought. But now we have one other quest completed. This one's done. Let's grab this loot box, and let's continue. So, back to the kiln. Constantin. Uh, it wants us to make a Constantin ingot. Constant, oh, and now I'm on uppercase. Constant ingot in an alloy kin is copper and nickel. Copper and nickel, perfect. Let's go grab eight copper and eight nickel. And let's go put that in the kiln. I'm guessing it's going to use coal coke. Oh, wow, this is much faster. Okay, and I'm just curious. Could I put something else? It doesn't show the fuel that it uses. Anyway, we got our Constantin. So that's another quest completed. Let's claim that and back out of here. Let's go with the next quest. So now that these three are completed, uh, we can do steel. For making steel and starting off with mid-game, you're going to need a multi-block blast furnace. So now we need 27 bl blast brick. The blast brick is basically the same kind of fur like setup as a coke oven, but now with blast brick. So blast brick. Blast brick is bricks and nether brick and blaze powder. So now I'm going to need 9, 18, 36 nether brick. So I'm going to need some nether bricks. Wow, this texture change. I love this new pattern chest. Okay, never noticed that before, but I think it's really cool. And I have 121, so let's just grab 64. And we're going to use the same cooking cheat. Well, cheat. I mean, easy setup. Like this and like this. And I know I'm overcooking, but at this point of the game, resources is not necessarily a problem. And I might need more at another time, so why not make more than what I need at the exact moment? And I should be able to get my diamond for next episode. Like, this is really exciting. Things are going a lot better than it, they were before. Now, I'm starting to more and more swim into resource. I'm guessing that at this point, my biggest issue is that these are not automated. The fact that I have to go and fill and empty them all the time is becoming an annoyance I don't want to have to deal with in the future. So, this should be enough nether brick. 40, so yes, so we'll come back later. Let's go and craft our blast brick. 
I'm going to need nine blaze powder. That's going to be my limiter. By my limiter, I mean the thing that makes me not go through too many resource by shift clicking. So if I go like this and go like that, that's going to give me the 27 that we need. And I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to set this up anywhere because I forgot to create my island and I don't want to waste time building an island right now. That's going to be layer one, layer two, layer three, and a little hammer whack in the middle. Shift right click. Hey, voila. So this is going to make steel. So if I go back here and I say steel, uh, steel ingot, I have to find the right one. So the one from immersive engineering. Mechanism, Silent Gem, Tech Reborn, <laughs> Tech Reborn, Terminal, wait, did I skip it? Ender IO, Ender IO, Ender IO, oh, this one, okay. So in the Blast Furnace, it's an Iron Ingot and probably some Cold Coke. So let's just go and grab, how much iron do I have? Five, I'm going to put a whole stack in there because I feel like steel is something that we're going to need a lot of. So 64 and three coal block. And this one is a slow one also. But now we have more Constantin, so we should be good for that. Let me get rid of the sand and the nether brick. Let's go reset those. 64, 64, 64, 64. And don't worry guys, I saw the stupid um, How did that block disappear? I feel like that should not have been gone. Anyway, I'm going to get rid of this Enderman because I don't want to die from an Enderman again as a derp. So that's a good thing it's rid of. Let's put that right here and we can continue with the quest. So now this is waiting for one steel ingot. And while we're waiting for the one steel ingot, we can already start working on getting the upper hand. For putting your wire relays on higher places, you can use posts and wall mount. So basically, we haven't made wires yet, but it's already talking about putting them in higher position. So wooden post, wooden post. Wooden posts are made out of stone and treated wood fence, and treated wood fence is made out of treated wood plank and treated stick. Okay, so now we're getting into the treated part. The treated wood plank are eight wood plank around a creosote oil bucket. So let's grab some buckets. And hopefully we start having enough oil, creosote oil. Okay, three buckets, so we're good. So that's one, that's two. We could even have a third one if we wanted. And we can just come here and the way it works, you go like this and you put this around. And that's going to give us eight wooded treated plank another eight and I'm going to transform all of these like that get some treated wooded fence and I'm just going to make one post for now uh, I'm going to need more than one but right now I'm basically trying to just get the uh, quest done so wall mount wall mount that's double L a wall mount out of wood is like so Basically, the difference is as follows. I'm just going to let the quest complete and I'm going to show you. These you put on the ground like this and you can use them. Whereas wall mount, you have to... Oh, I don't need to put that there. Let me just grab that. And the wall mount you put on a wall like this. But still, these are not enough. We're going to need to put a wire connector on those for them to work. So let's get to that point. Let's collect this loot chest and continue with the next quest. Do I have my steel yet? Let's go see if I have at least one steel. Yes, I have two steel. And I'm starting to make some slag. So that's kind of good. Let's grab all of this coal coke and put it in here because we want to make more steel. That's another quest completed. Let's grab this quest. And the next quest is engineering block. Almost every multi-block machine from IE use at least one type of engineering block. There are three types. The redstone engineering block, the light engineering block, and the heavy engineering block. So we need to make one of each. 
So let's just look into engineering block. Engineering block. Redstone is four iron and a copper. And the four um, redstone. The light is copper and iron and these iron mechanical component, which needs plate, which is going to be interesting. And the heavy needs steel. So the heavy, we're going to need at least four steel and some electrum. And electrum is, if I go look at the, oh, I didn't pick the right kind of electrum. See, that's something that's kind of annoying. The multi, uh, the multi kind of resource from multiple different kind of um, mod pack means you never know which one you're grabbing. So silver and gold. So let's go grab some silver and some gold. I'm going to make a little bit more Electrum and I'm frozen again. This is not a good night. And I think I know why. I broke the mob farm. I reactivated the mob farm and now I have a crap ton of mob items laying on the ground. So I'm going to have to address that in a time lapse. So let's go grab eight of this and eight silver. Perfect. Gold and silver. And we're going to put that in the kiln like so. And I'm going to put one coal coke in here and grab oh, four steel. Perfect. That's what I wanted because now that I have four steel, I can grab one stack of this and one stack of this and get started into my engineering block. So engineering blocks. First, the redstone. I'm going to need four redstone. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know what? I'm going to make a double batch four of them is not going to be such a drain on my resource that's four my light engineering so i need these iron plate and you make these iron plate with the engineering hammer so engineering hammer iron ingot so i'm going to grab eight of those uh you know what 16 let's grab 16. so 16 of those like this so i'm going to make oof, these are expensive I didn't know these were that expensive. And now I can make four light, four redstone. And now I need to make the these block, which are way more expensive than everything else. Thankfully, we're not going to need a lot of heavy, but uh, yeah, that's kind of more expensive than I was expecting. So let's put that right here. We're going to make another 16. Why? Because we need more heavy engineering. And they also require the same kind of um, same kind of pipe. What are they called? The steel mechanical component. Oh, steel! Wow. This is a lot more expensive than I thought. So that's going to give me four steel plate, which is going to give me one steel component. Well, I need eight more steel. As I was saying, this is a very expensive mod because as you can see, this is not being creating a ton at a time and I need six more steel to be able to move this forward. Um, That's kind of annoying. And there's another stupid Enderman. So let's get rid of him. And just because of how long this is, there's one thing that's probably going to end up happening. What's probably going to end up happening is... Oh my god. Um, I think I preferred when no mob was spawning. This is crazy. I went from having no mob to now having the mobs being a problem. Because they are annoying. Um, let's get out of here. I don't have time to waste for this. So let's get back here. And that made another steel. So it's basically one coke coal per steel. And this is being produced super slowly. So what I was trying to say is that I might make one or two more coke oven. And one or, more, one or two more crude blast furnace. Because until I get the better blast furnace, blast furnace, this one, the blast furnace preheater and the blast furnace something else that is kind of a higher level, this resource takes such a long time to produce. I got my electrum, 
but that's at least that but now i'm just kind of stuck waiting on more coal for this because three steel ingot that's not enough and i don't know if that if that goes down too much does it work with charcoal you know what you never know with a mod pack some of them it does oh yes <gasps> so i don't have to wait for coal coke okay so that's a game changer there are some mod pack where the mod creator changes it so that this requires only cold coke so you have to make cold coke in the coke oven to then be transferred into the crude blast furnace to make steel so as you can guess this makes some things very much more complicated so let's come back here that's going to be another four steel ingot where's this the hammer so four more steel ingot which i'm going to transform into another steel mechanical component um oh wrong setup okay so now the only thing that i need for my engineering block engineering block is going to be my piston i think i have everything except the steel ingot i got the electrum i got the two piston yeah i got everything except what i just said so let me get rid of these boots and these mushroom and let me get rid of what else do i not want i don't want this on me and i don't want this bucket and that's pretty much it for now i'm going to refill this because i might need more treated wood so getting the creosote oil is always a good idea oh that's one steel this is taking too long so let's move on to the next one for now oh better coke production i can already do that i thought it was going to be way more advanced you can make an advanced coke oven and add preheater to make it run faster so we need 18 reinforced coke brick nine sheet steel sheet metal okay now i don't have enough steel and a coke two coke oven preheater i'm just curious to see what this is all cost wise reinforced reinforced blast yeah reinforced blast brick is a blast brick with a steel plate okay so that in itself is not cheap we need 18 steel for this and steel sheet metal i'm going to need so that's four for four I'm going to need 12. I'm going to need three crafts. So that's 12 steel plus 9 plus 18 steel. So that's 30 steel and coke oven preheater. Coke oven preheater. Two of those is iron sheet metal and external eater, which is all. Okay, so that's all. So that's all easy. So that's something. I know what I'm going to prepare the resources in my time lapse to get that done because I really want to be able to produce things faster. Better steel production. You can make a reinforced blast furnace and add preheaters to it to make it run faster. So that's the other one I was talking to you about. Uh, that's the one that makes steel faster. So reinforced steel, no, not storage crate. Reinforced blast brick, nope. Oh yeah, reinforced blast brick. So it's the same thing? Yes, it is the same thing. So I'm going to need 27 and... No, this is reinforced coke brick. So the reinforced blast brick needs steel plate. And the reinforced coke brick, oh, also steel plate. So, okay, no difference. I'm going to need 18 steel for this. And I'm going to need 27 steel for that. So I'm nowhere close to that. And the blast furnace preheater is iron sheet metal and external eater. So, again, things that are easy to make. So my biggest stop right now is steel. So I might still make two, another crude blast furnace just to be able to accelerate the steel production to make these two. But while we cannot make these two right now, we can continue with the engineer's workbench. For making certain part and making some craftable parts cheaper, you are going to need an engineer's workbench. Engineer engineer's workbench right here it's made out of three treated wood plank and a treated wood fence and i think that we have everything for that here i'm going to need one um one crafting oh, i'm frozen again 
This is kind of annoying. Waiting, waiting. I just hope it won't screw the video. Perfect. So one crafting table and we should be able to craft that. Perfect. And let's put it down because that one's a nice one. And again. I really need to fix my mob farm. So one thing I want to say about immersive and engineering. Look at this. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this nice workbench. The guy that built that mod made some really, really nice image for everything. And we haven't even made the heavy machinery. And when we make the EV machinery, it's like multi-block structures. They are beautiful. I always love the look of that mod because of those machines. Let's go grab the four steel. And now we have everything to be able to complete the engineering block. And like I said, not having the mob farm working might have been a blessing in disguise. So that's going to make two heavy engineering block. I don't know if not, it's not one of those mod that's been added though. Maybe adding these uh, new mod might have created some imbalance. But that brings us the engineering block and we can claim this or not. Oh, it's really just laggy. Everything's laggy right now. Perfect. So let's claim that. And now we're into a, we've unlocked a lot of things, but you know what? That's been a long episode already. And I need to pre-craft a lot of things. I really want to get these, uh, all the steel for these blast brick and blast furnace. And I want an island. So I really think that we're going to open all of the reward that we received. And we're going to call this an episode. Cicada, chance cube, chance cube. Tier 1 chance pendant. So, oh, basically these tier 1 chance pendant increases the chance of uh, the chance cube. So we might get better chance cube because of those. And then we got a rare mega loot case. Ooh, magenta balloon and another tier 1 chance pendant. Let's open this. This uh, tier 1 mega loot crate something. Oh. <sighs> Frozen again. This is getting super annoying. What did I get? A long bow with poison enemy for one second. Shoot six arrows. What? Okay, this looks like a crazy weapon. Not sure that I need a crazy weapon, but uh, cool. Okay. Let's put all of this into our overflow bin right here. So overflow, overflow, overflow. Overflow, overflow, overflow. All of this in the overflow. And that's going to be it for today's episode. In my time lapse, I'm going to adjust the mob farm first thing because I'm half sure that all of my lag is being caused by the mob farm. Then second thing, I'm going to be grinding some stone to make sure that I can finish better storage, all the while making sure that steel production is continuing because I want to try to get all of the material ready for the more advanced blast brick and the more advanced blast oven. Oh, one thing quickly I wanted to show you is the wire cutter and the wire. So now that we have the engineer wires cutter, we can use the engineer's wire cutter and copper ingot huh is that not how you make the wires oh i need to make plate i think or i just need to just be jammed all the time so basically i think i made some copper plate oh boy my time lapse is going to be super fun if that's the lag and freeze i can expect every time i'm trying to do something but, oh, okay, so that's how you make the wire. So you make plate, and out of the wire cutter, you make some wire. And those wire, when you can craft the wire, so those wire, you can use... Whoa! I'm going to die. Or I'm going to lag out to die. Derp, 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 come on! Come on, stop lagging. 
Please survive, please survive. I don't even know where this guy's coming from. And now he's completely gone. And I'm just worried that he's going to kill me and have a derp death. Okay, so I'm going to stay here safe and just show you what I meant. Is that with these copper wire, which is laggy again, you make these wire coil. And these wire coil are things that can connect electricity uh, between items and transfer power. So that's the one thing that we've been trying to get because now our power setup is going to be much easier. But I'm going to have to leave it on this right here and go into my time lapse because if I do not solve this lag problem, I might need to do a full reinstall again because there is no way that I'm going to accept having another episode with so much lag. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye now. Or bye now. <laughs>